products. And now let's really talk about birth certificates. More specifically, let's talk about the fact that the American Medical Association wants to remove the sex of the baby from public birth That's certificates. Right. The American Medical Association is currently pushing for sex as a category to be removed from American babies' birth certificates. In fact, I have one of their committee reports right here. This is from a meeting that they held in, uh, in May, in May of this year, and here's what it says in relevant part. Sex designation refers to the biological difference between males and females, which is what is recorded on the birth certificate. While there is no clear standard for defining sex designation, it is typically determined at birth by a child's physician or parents based on external genitalia. Now, I just want to pause here for a moment and mention that over the last 5,000 years, I'm pretty sure that there has been a clear standard for defining sex designation on babies. I mean, there are some ambiguous cases. About 0.02% of babies are what's known as intersex, but generally people know which is which. So for them to say that there is no clear standard for assigning a baby's sex is a bit uh, of a stretch, at least in my opinion. But then the report continues, quote, Gender is a social construct that describes the way persons self-identify or express themselves. A person's gender identity may not always be exclusively male or female and may not always correspond with their sex assigned at birth. Then they continue on and wind up with a preposition which says that for people who have transitioned from one gender to another, their birth certificate can lead to violence. Here's what it says in the report. Quote, for these individuals, having a gender identity that does not match the sex designation on their birth certificate can result in confusion, possible discrimination, harassment, and violence whenever their birth certificate is requested. Furthermore, public display of sex designation on the birth certificate requires disclosure of an individual's private, sensitive personal information. Although, at this very moment, restaurants in New York City are not requiring you to show your birth certificate before letting you in. They only need to see your vaccination status. Regardless, the American Medical Association then goes on to conclude that the sex category should be removed altogether from birth certificates. And it's also worth noting that at this moment, 10 different states throughout the country, they allow for birth certificates to have an X as an option. And so, for instance, if you have a baby here in New York, the birth certificate can say male, female, or it can just say X.